Hi, good to be with you uh, today. I'm Pastor Davis Lawrence uh, from the New Harvest Community Church, City of God, Leicester, UK. You can find us on www.newharvestcc.org.uk. Please connect with us on Facebook or Twitter. Um, we'd be really so glad to be able to connect with you because I believe that we are in a season of connection. Uh, where God is connecting his kingdom workers together because all of us are cogs in his great big wheel. Amen. So, you know, today I really want to bring to you um, a teaching, a, a short teaching around how to move you from where you are to where God wants you to be, from where you are, hearing the call of God, knowing that God is calling you, but wondering to yourself, how am I going to move from here to there? There are so many obstacles in front of me, and I don't even really even know if this is God calling me, all right? So I want to use something from uh, 1 Samuel chapter uh, 17, which is David and Goliath, to begin to show you over a series of sessions, I want to show you how you know God's speaking to you, how you know God's about to use you or wants to use you, or in fact wants to use and move you and change the very landscape of your life. How do you know that? All right, so we're going to look at that. Now, the Bible tells us that David is in a situation. David has been caught by his father, okay, very innocently. And I need you to know that oftentimes when God is about to do something wonderful in your life, it's not going to be something that you planned or that you're ready for. You're going to stumble into it, okay? You're just going to walk right into it. And this is what happened to David in 1 Samuel chapter 17. His father, Jesse, sent him with some bread because he was just a shepherd boy looking after sheep. All right. And so this is what he does. And, you know, nobody takes David seriously. He's not a warrior. Nobody knows that he can fight. And more often than not, people don't know your skills. They don't really know who you are. OK. And and more often than not, the element of surprise, <laughs> the element of surprise is always when people underestimate you. OK. And possibly the devil's got you underestimated. That's all good. Don't even worry about that. People don't know what your skills are. They don't know how you who you are or what you're able to bring. Stop worrying about all of that you know, your time's coming, your time's coming. You just need to know that when your time comes, you can bring it, okay? That's what you need to know. All right, so here's David, he's stumbling into something now. God uses something and uses his father to tell him to go and bring some bread to his brothers, knowing full well that when he gets there, something, he's gonna hear something that frustrates the living daylights out of him, all right? So he's taking the bread up there to his brothers, and when he gets there to take the bread up to his brother, he's with his sheep, and he, the battle, the Bible says, is set in array, and he hears Goliath. Goliath is hurling insult, insults down at Israel. And the scripture declares that all of Israel are fleeing because of Goliath, for fear of this man. This man's a champion. He's not just a champion. He's a great, big, tall champion. Okay. And David hears this. Now, when David hears this, it's, it ignites something in David. Great frustration. David is frustrated. He's irritated and he's angry about what he's heard. Now, this is something that he does. Now, he leaves the sheep with a keeper, and he, the Bible says he leaves in the midst of the Bible, and he leaves his carriage, okay? But the first point that I want to bring to you today is this, frustration, irritation. More often than not, how you know that God wants to do something in your life and use you for a specific purpose or to call you into something or away from something is frustration. Frustration is often linked to purpose. God will often use your frustration or hide your purpose in your frustration. So you don't get angry because you're frustrated. Please don't get angry because you're frustrated or don't get frustrated with your frustration, if that makes sense, okay? Your frustration is an indicator, a very clear indicator that God is burning up a bush. He burned up a bush to get Moses' attention. Could it be that God has created a frustration, all right? He knows that it's linked to your purpose. It is linked to your purpose. And because of that, it's frustrating you. David was frustrated. He was irritated when he heard what Israel, what Goliath was saying about Israel and for the fact that Israel were running from him, all right? He was frustrated. That rose up something in him. Guess what happened? That frustration was linked to his purpose. His purpose was to take out Goliath. Now, you might be in a place right here, right now, 
where you're incredibly frustrated about where you are or what's happening to you or what you could be doing, should be doing, but not doing. All kinds of frustration that's just it's creating so much and you're going home at night and you're sitting and you're frustrated with being frustrated. You're irritated about this and irritated about that. But I want you not to get frustrated about being frustrated. I want you to stop. And I want you to begin to think, what am I frustrated about? And why am I frustrated? Could it be that this frustration is linked to my purpose? Could it be that God has hidden my purpose inside my frustration? Okay? Could it be that the reason why I am so frustrated is that I am key? I am a key element. I have the key to what I am frustrated about. Could it be that why I'm frustrated is that it's time for me to move? Because oftentimes it is only out of our frustration that we are actually forced into action. I'm Pastor Davis Lawrence. Please visit me on Facebook or Twitter. It would be so lovely. And I hope that this has blessed you today and I will be back with you real soon. God bless you.